Hi everyone. The question was uh, recently asked, how do I create a discussion forum in which only the student and the teacher can see the discussion? Um, essentially what we're talking about here is a journal. That's actually really easy to, um, to do. All you need to do is create a discussion forum, but then set your students up in groups of one. So let's go through that so I can show you what I mean. So I'm in a course right now where I'd like to have a journal, a, a, a discussion just between myself and a teacher where I can send that discussion back and forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look down here on my administration panel, we'll click on users, and under users I'm going to click on groups. Um, it takes me to the group setup page and initially you see groups and members of. Um, what I would like to do is to auto create groups. So if I click on auto create groups, what it's going to do is give me a, a choice in terms of how I want to create those groups. Now typically this uh, feature is set up so that uh, if you wanted to randomly create groups of five or six students, you would simply uh, key in here. Um, I either want a certain number of groups or I want a certain number of members per group. So if you wanted groups of five, you'd simply click the, or type the number five here. In our situation though, we actually want to have a group of one. So each student in the class gets their own group. And what that's going to do is allow us to set up the forum so that only group members can see each other's posts. And the result is that only the student and the teacher who can see everything can actually engage in the group. So I'm going to select from any cohort, select from any role, um, naming scheme, it doesn't really matter what you call it, um, group one, group two, if I left it like this, or um, um, person one, person two, um, if you wanted to do that. Um, do you want to create this in a grouping? I would say yes, because a grouping is a particular scheme of organizing uh, students. So in this scheme, um, I'm going to call this individuals, because I want any um, object or any uh, discussion forum set up for one-to-one -one correspondence to be using this individual grouping. And that's it. Um, I make sure that I'm selecting from students, make sure that uh, I specify the members per group as one, that the naming scheme makes sense, that I'm creating a new grouping, in other words, how groups are made, called individuals. Um, to give more information on grouping, I may want to create a grouping of random groups of five. Um, I might want to create another grouping of intentional groups of five, or something to that effect that um, on different assignments and different activities I might use a different uh, grouping scheme. So once I'm done, I push submit, and you'll see person A, person B, person C show up on the uh, list. You can see there's one person in each. And if I click on any one of them, it will tell me who that person is. So now I'm done on this piece, so I'm going to go back to the main uh, screen. And I'm going to just go ahead and create my, um, my discussion forum. So as I always do, I turn my editing on. And once my editing's on, I uh, click Add Activity or Resource. Um, the activity or resource that I'm going to add is a discussion forum, just like I'd normally do. And click Add. And now, under um, Forum Name, um, I'm going to maybe give it a name of my journal. Um, let the students know this is and me. Nobody else can see that. And when I get to the bottom, there's all of the other options that I have for discussion forums. But I want to choose Common Module Settings. And this is where you find the group settings. So when I click on Common Module Settings, 
um, it's going to say what group mode you want. So I actually want to have separate groups. Separate groups means that the students are see their own discussion forum and can't see anyone else's, whereas visible groups, they can choose to see someone else's. And then the grouping I'd like to use is the one I created called individuals. And now, if I simply save and return to course or save and display, I no longer have the ability to, um, or students no longer have the ability to see each other's posts within this. So now, if I, um, if I go in and uh, log in as a student, and uh, just refresh my page here, I will see my journal appear. So I just go ahead and click on my journal. I see the message that this is between you and me. So I'll just go add a new discussion topic. something uh, deep and meaningful for the discussion. And as with any discussion uh, forum, I'm just going to go ahead, scroll to the bottom, and hit post to forum. Now, this looks exactly the same as, um, as any other discussion forum, um, except for one extra column thrown in here that says group, and it'll say person A. And so because I'm in a group by myself, nobody else can see what I've just posted there. That being said, that the rest of it works exactly the same way that you'd normally see it, where I can see my uh, discussion, I have the ability to, as a teacher, reply to it, delete it, edit it, the, the typical things you'd see in a discussion forum. The only difference is that that is now private. Um, for the teacher, um, there's really only one other step to that, so if I go into my journal as a teacher, um, you'll see that you do see everybody's post. If you want to see only one person's post, now you have this ability, instead of showing all participants, I can just choose one other student, and that would simply show up uh, here so that I would only see that student's posts. Um, when I have that set, or even when I'm just in a discussion replying to one person, um, my replies are also only av available or only visible to that one person. Um, I hope that makes sense. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, give me a shout.